We've also got this clip here, courtesy of um, MSNBC, which features the one and only Torre talking about Diddy's sex scandal thing. Let's quickly check that out because I think this is an interesting video to check out because he does mention something that happened to one of his um, family members regarding Diddy. Let's actually react to that now. I think this might be a good one to check out. I think this might be a good one to check out. Yesterday, federal agents executed search warrants at two properties in Los Angeles and Miami belonging to rap mogul Sean Diddy Combs. A source familiar with the matter told NBC News that Combs is the subject of a federal investigation following a wave of lawsuits okay. that have been filed against him. Uh -huh. Those lawsuits, including from his former girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, alleged physical and sexual abuse, Jesus which Christ. Combs has denied. God the source also confirmed that three women and a man have been interviewed by federal officials in mm -hmm. Manhattan in relation to allegations of sex trafficking, sexual assault, Jesus. and the solicitation and distribution of illegal narcotics and firearms. Fuck Late today, you know. Combs' lawyer issued the following statement. Quote, yesterday, there was a gross overuse of military yeah, level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences. There was no yeah, excuse for the excessive show of force, force and hostility exhibited, exhibited by authorities or the way his children, children and employees were treated. treated. Mr. Combs was never detained, okay. but spoke, spoke to and cooperated with authorities, authorities despite, despite media speculation. speculation neither Mr. Combs, Combs nor any of his family, family members have been arrested, nor has their ability to travel been restricted in any yeah. way. This, this unprecedented ambush, ambush paired with an advanced coordinated media presence leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a premature rush to judgment. This fucking lawyer is legendary. Witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. There's been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. I Unquote. Joining me now is Torrey, host of Masters of the Game. The new season premieres Friday on the Griot. Uh, what is going on? Because we did also see uh, Diddy's sons arrested. They were detained. They weren't the arrested. They were just detained. Yeah. But what is going on? Yeah, well, it, it seems that there are... Let's see what Torre has to say. Let's see what Torre has to say. What is actually going on, Torre? Tell us the fucking juicy information we want to know. Several people who are saying things about Combs to the government, and they are trying to figure out what's going on. I found it interesting that they had enough to get a search warrant, right, uh -huh. for multiple places, but not enough yet to arrest him. So we're in the investigation phase, and clearly they don't care right. if we let him know what, that we know what's going on. Uh -huh. Yeah. But it seems part of uh, part of his whole life, his whole journey has been this yep. sort of scorched earth campaign where you see him continuing to succeed or do big things and leave people in his wake hurt. Yep. We go back to CCNY, mm -hmm. which he a, a, a party that he over promoted that people yes. ended up getting killed. You think about the many artists who either left, you know, in complaint or went to the church or you know, died nice. after, like, you know, I mean, there was a lot of dis a lot of disheartened artists who left him yeah. that he raised up Shine. And, uh, on and on. Um, and now this, this large growing number of people who are alleging Wale. crazy stuff yes. about Kid him. Cuddy. Yeah. And these are things that people in Drake. the industry have been hearing about. It's giving time. R. Kelly to right. It's giving it's 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 Ew. disturbing. You know, who's this woman? How are you saying it's giving on MSNBC? Is that what your news presenters do now in America? Get on, get on fucking TV with a blonde bob, with a blonde bob wig, and say it's giving. Come on, man, be professional. It's giving. It's very R. Kelly coded. Like what? <laughs> I was personally disturbed many years ago. Okay, I. I I know this man well enough to call him and say, hey, I need a favor. Yeah. Oh, really? And okay. this might have been 10, 12 years ago that I called him and say, hey, I have a family member who I want you to hire them as an intern. Yeah. And uh, I have never talked about this publicly. And I this is what nepotism looks like, by the way. This is what nepotism looks like. You try to get somebody a job at fucking Diddy's label or whatever, try to get him an internship. And what happened? Did, did, he, did he try to fuck your sister or something? I and he said yes, and they were flying around. One of the interns, Atlanta, Miami, whatever, on the jet in the house, whatever. And then the internship stopped abruptly, like three or four months into it. Yeah. Okay. And I spoke to my family member, like, well, what happened? And they wouldn't say. Yeah. And I'm like, what? What do you? Wow. Why did it end? They wouldn't say. And years later, yeah, they finally happened? came out, and this is a male, yeah. and said that 
uh, Puff had said, come home, stay the night with me. What? Or the internship is over. And they said, absolutely. Yo, Diddy's out here fucking interns. Diddy's out here fucking interns. Tory recommended interns. Absolutely not. He said, absolutely not. Uh-huh. And the internship ended. Uh, but from there, I was like, oh, like, this you're is freaky. this is how it goes. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So to hear that things went even further with potentially, allegedly, many other people. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's not, I don't, it, you know, we, we feel like we've seen this coming. Well, we, there was the situation. That's the thing I want to know, by the way. You guys in the stream chat. Is, I was thinking about this earlier today. Is it possible to be a freaky guy like Diddy, without abusing people, without harassing people, without pressuring people, without raping people. Can it be possible? Can you be as horny and as freaky as Diddy without the rape and without the assault and without the harassment? It's not possible, is it? It's just a bit too dark. There's probably too much drugs involved, too much drink. It's late at night, too many cloud chasers. It's almost impossible to be that party guy who actually really legitimately parties, right? Take that, take that, take that. Can you actually be that guy, you know, and then also not be a dickhead? I don't think it's possible. I really don't. Diddy's obviously proved it. Um, but I think with Diddy thing as well, you have to remember, like, he, he flew too close to the sun. He just did too much. He did way too much. That's probably the issue at hand. Situation with obviously Russell Simmons, who does not live in the United States any further. Mm-hmm. You've got, you've had these situations obviously with R. Kelly. <laughs> Russell, and this feels like it is going down that kind of a track because you have multiple accusers with nothing proved. He's not been adjudicated a, you know, whatever. But it, it's she's talking video, and he paid Cassie a lot of money. A, a lot. Some people are saying, some people are hypothesizing that they use a type where he would literally off himself. Some people are saying. Some people are saying they definitely would reckon he would definitely offer himself. He's not in a good place. I remember someone saying that. A lot of money and that you know the, the people are coming with videos though. I mean like evidence. Uh, Jared Merrick. Um, Russell Simmons lives in Bali allegedly now. He's in Bali. Not just hearsay. So I mean, this is a very, very frightening situation. There was a period in the record business when a lot of wildness was going on yeah. of this sort, and uh-huh. here's another shoe dropping. Yeah, and and the thing is, I think. Talk about where he's at because what- anyway, like I said, I would I, I want to see how this transpires. I'm still not sure you could be that much of a freak and not be into some fuck shit. I think it's almost impossible. Um, but yeah, he just did too much. He wanted everything. He got absolutely nothing. He wanted everything, and then he ended up getting absolutely fuck all. What an absolute horror show! What an absolute fucking horror show!